<laughs> Today, we're gonna to be doing all my favorite downward dog exercises. So you just need your yoga mat today in your body. And that's it. But remember, if it feels terrible, you don't have to do it. Um, if your body is like, I've had enough of these reps, you don't have to do all of the reps. Just do as many as you can. Make sure you're able to breathe. <laughs> Today we're gonna to start in our child's pose. So all the way down. And you can have your knees apart, toes together, and stretch your arms out in front, relax your forehead onto the floor. And then take two deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then on your next few breaths, start to bring some movement to your body, maybe inhaling, rising up a little bit, arching up. Exhale, allowing yourself to fall back into your child's pose. So take your time, use your breath, gently floating yourself up and down. Gradually making this motion larger and larger. We're really still powering it with your breath. Maybe starting to send your body weight forward. Maybe it's not so much of a child's pose anymore. Maybe you start to make your way to your hands and knees. I said maybe, but you should. <laughs> and then on your next push up, stay in your hands and knees position. Find parallel feet behind you. Bring your arms underneath your shoulders and spread your fingers wide. And then take a deep breath in. On your exhale, drop your belly down, stretch your tailbone up, press your chest forward between your arms in front and lift your chin up to the sky. And then take another deep breath in here. And this time exhale, belly button to spine, chin pulls into your chest, push down into the floor to round your back up into your cat pose. And then on your next inhale, bring yourself back into cow pose, belly down, tailbone up, chest out, chin up, U shape. And then when you can't get any more air, exhale it all out, forcibly if you like, pulling your belly button deep toward your spine. Keep going at your own speed through cat and cow, using your breath. Do one more time, cat and cow. And then bring yourself to a neutral spine. So then take another deep breath in. And on your exhale, twist to look over at your right foot. Inhale yourself back to center. And then exhale, look over at the left foot. Now we're expanding and contracting our side body using our breath. Make sure you're taking your whole breath. Don't cheat yourself. Inhale, exhale. And then bring yourself back to center. We'll do our circular cat and cow. So belly down, tailbone up, chest up, chin up, shoulders away from the ears. Stir everything toward the front or the right. Dropping your chin into your chest, rounding and arching through cat, and then circling out the other side. And pay close attention to whether your body is going like back or forward during these giant circles. Make sure that you are trying to stay centered between your palms and your knees. Don't forget about your head and your neck. Circle it all the way around. And then reverse the direction of your circles. Exhaling to arch. Inhaling, or sorry, inhaling to round and exhale to arch. Enjoying the creaky floor. <laughs> One more giant circle. And then stopping here, bring your toes together, sink your hips onto your heels, stretch the arms out in front, take a deep breath in and out, child's pose. And 
And then use an inhale to roll through your spine, coming onto your knees, bringing your head up last. All the way up, make sure your knees are underneath your hips and that your toes are parallel behind you and tuck them underneath. Squeeze your glutes, gently press your hips forward, pull your belly button deep towards your spine, clasp your fists together and circle your wrists all the way around and breathe. Reverse your circle. And then stopping here, still squeezing your glutes, arms down by your side, inhale, float the right arm up, grow tall. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, stack yourself back up. Exhale, float the arm down. And then the left arm's turn, inhale. Exhale directly over to the right. Inhale, stack it back up. Keep squeezing your glutes, belly button to spine. Let's go again. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, bend. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. And then keep your toes tucked under. Place your palms onto the floor. Spread your fingers wide, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, press the hips up into the sky, downward dog, and start to lift and lower your heels one at a time, but keep pressing your hips up to the sky as far as you can, and breathe. And then stopping here to lift and lower both heels at the same time with straight legs if you can. Keep breathing, keep pushing the floor away, active with your arms. And then stopping here, stay in your downward dog. Try to reach your heels to the floor as much as you can. Same time, push the floor away, stretching your arms up by your ears, reach the hips up, take a deep breath. And then soften your knees, place them to the floor, bring the tops of your toes to the floor, sink back into your heels, rest in a child's pose, two deep breaths. Use an exhale to push yourself back to hands and knees position. And find yourself again stacked underneath your joints, fingers spread wide onto the floor. Start to make small circles around your wrists, not large. Transferring weight from your fingers to your palms and all the way back around. Don't forget to breathe. Reverse your circle. And then stopping here, tuck your toes back under, take a deep breath in, exhale your way back into downward dog. When you get there, take a deep breath. If you want, you can adjust your downward dog. Make sure you are an upside down V. And then start to move your shoulders all around, however you like, pushing the floor away. Also breathe. And then stopping here, moving to hips. Move them all the way around, however you like. Breathe. And then we're going to make a circle. So all the way around forward and all the way around back. Take it slow. Breathe. Reverse this giant circle. Oh, you can go slower than I'm doing, but try not to go faster. Transferring weight from hand, hand, foot, foot, as you breathe, stirring it all the way around. Last one. 
And then soften your knees, place them up to the floor, relax the toes onto the floor, bring them together. Let's dig your child's pose, rest, two deep breaths. And still in your child's pose, reach your hands behind your back, clasp them, and then give them a little bit of a circle back there. Reverse your circle. And then trying to bring your arms straight, try to make a circle with your arms if you can. Reverse that circle. And then stepping here, place your palms back out in front, reach the arms out, take a deep breath in and exhale back to your tabletop position. Spreading your fingers wide onto the floor and then we'll do our scapular push-ups down and up, trying to keep your elbows straight, dropping your chest down and squeezing your scapula behind you. High five your wings. Breathe. And then draw giant circles with your shoulders going forward and back. Keep breathing. Reverse your circles. And stopping here, make sure your legs are parallel behind you. Tuck your toes under, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, push yourself into your downward dog. And when you get there, take a deep breath and really feel this triangle shape you're making with your body. And then we're gonna come all the way down to forearms. So lower yourself down to your forearms, take your time. Make sure your arms are still shoulder width and then clasp your fists together. Bring your forehead down. Maybe you place it onto the floor. Take a deep breath. And then still reaching your tailbone up to the sky. Here we go. Inhale, stretch your chin up to the sky. Look up. Press down with your forearms. Take a deep breath. And then set your knees to the floor, bring the tops of your toes to the floor, palms onto the floor, push yourself back into your child's pose, rest. Take two deep breaths. Use your next exhale to float yourself back to hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide underneath your shoulders. Make sure your legs are parallel again. Tuck those toes under. Deep breath in. Exhale to downward dog where we stay to enjoy for one deep breath. And then take a deep breath in. On your exhale, send your body weight forward. Find your plank pose. Arms are underneath shoulders. Take a deep breath. Energy is shooting out through your heels. And then bend your knees slightly. Take a deep breath in and exhale back to downward dog. Deep breath. Deep breath in. Exhale, body weight forward, plank pose. Deep breath when you get there. Bend your knees slightly. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath. All right, let's do one more just like that. Deep breath in. Exhale, body weight forward, plank pose, stay strong. Energy shooting out through your heels, engage your quads, belly button is fine. Deep breath in, bend your knees. Exhale, back to that downward dog. Take a deep breath in and out here. And then soften your knees. Place them to the floor, bring the tops of your toes back to the floor. Sink into your child's pose, relax. Two deep breaths. And then bring your arms down by your side with your palms up. Take another deep breath.
And then keeping your hips onto your heels as much as you can. Chin stays into your chest. Roll up slowly through your spine, one vertebrae at a time, bringing your head up last. And when you're on your knees, come all the way up. Make sure your knees are underneath your hips. Bring your legs back to parallel behind you and tuck your toes back under. Interlace your fingers, squeeze your butt, press your hips forward, belly button to spine, and make your wave. Also breathe. Reverse your wave. All right, then shake out your wave. <laughs> Keep those toes tucked under. We're going back to our downward dog. Place your hands up to the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale. Downward dog we go. Take a deep breath when you get there. Make your adjustments. Make sure you're still in your V. You're nice and strong. And then stretch your right leg directly behind you with a straight leg pointed toe. Careful that you've not lifted your hip. We'll do that later. Keep your two hips in line by pulling your belly button deep toward your spine. Reach your left heel to the floor, engage all of your leg muscles, and squeeze your right glute by pulsing this leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then stop here. On an inhale, squeeze it up higher. On your exhale, float that leg down. Take a resting breath in your downward dog, deep breath. Make sure you're still strong in your arms and your shoulders, and then send your left leg back, straight leg, pointed toe. Careful not to lift that hip, belly button to spine, squeeze left glute, pulse your leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On your inhale, stretch it up higher. On your exhale, float it down. And then soften your knees, bring them back to the earth. Place the toes together. Sink your hips onto your heels. Relax. Child's pose. Two deep breaths. On your next inhale, roll back up through your spine. Back to your knees we go. All the way back up. Parallel feet. Toes tucked under. Squeeze your butt, belly button to spine, read a book, and then fold it in on yourself. Gentle massage for the back of your palm. Just breathe. I wish I could show you what's happening outside out my, my window here. They're flushing the water main, so it's just like a big waterfall. <laughs> Reverse. I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck is happening? That's right, I received a text. <laughs> All right, let's shake this out. Guess what, we're going back to our downward dive. So palms onto the floor, fingers spread wide, strong arms, strong shoulders, deep breath in. Exhale, downward dog, stay for a deep breath. Find your triangle shape, make sure it's stacked, feels good. And then stretch your right leg back, straight leg pointed toe. This time we're going to draw two giant circles, but don't move the rest of your body. So keep pulling your belly button deep toward your spine. That leg is straight. Try not to shift the weight forward or back. Squeezing your butt to lift the leg. And then reverse those circles two times out, two times in. Breathing normal. Reaching that left heel to the floor to push your hips up to the sky. Once you're done with the two circles, right and left, float that leg down. Take a rest in breath. I'm going to move so I can kick the wall. Deep breath. All right, now it's left leg's turn. Make sure you're pushing down into the floor with your palms and your fingertips. Stretch that left leg up. Don't lift your hip. Keep your belly button pulled deep toward your spine. Draw your two circles out and in. Your leg is a pencil. They don't have to be as big as this. They can be smaller. But remember, don't go fast. You're stirring. Keep reaching your heel, hips up to the sky. Maybe you reach that right heel to the floor. Ooh. And then when you're done, float that leg down. Set your knees to the floor. 
Bring the tops of your toes to the floor. Sink back in your child's pose. Relax either here with arms out straight or arms down by your side with palms up. Use your inhale to roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time, coming back to your knees. Head comes up last. All the way back up onto our knees, parallel feet. Tuck the toes under. This time you're gonna bring your hands together like this at the back of your palms together, and then curl all of your fingers in, thumbs included, gentle pressure. Take two deep breaths. And then release that, wiggle your fingers, play a piano, and then shake it out, place them on the floor. Guess where we're going? Downward dog. So make your adjustments, take your deep breath in. Exhale, downward dog we go. When you get there, take a deep breath. All right, we're gonna stretch this right leg up, straight leg pointed toe. Directly behind you, don't lift your hip. Inhale, squeeze your butt, lift that leg higher. On your exhale, you're gonna bend the knee to your nose and then bring it to the outside of this right hand. Once you've set it down, bend your knee, squeeze your left butt. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, flip that hand back down. And then you're gonna step this leg back, kicking it up behind you. Stretch it up, same way we did and then float it back down, downward dog, deep breath. Here we go, left leg, stretch it up, straight leg, pointed toe, inhale it higher. Exhale the knee to the nose, and then it comes outside of this left hand onto my phone. Press it down, bend your knee, squeeze your right butt. Left hand reaches up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, flip the hand down. Let's do one more time, right and left, here we go. Press the leg up, inhale. Exhale, that leg floats back down. Deep breath in and out in your downward dog. Right and left. Inhale, right leg up. Squeeze your butt. And then bring the knee into the nose. Step the foot outside of right hand, place it down, bent knee. Squeeze your left butt. Inhale, right arm up, twist. Look up to the sky, maybe over your right shoulder. Exhale, hand points down, back to the place. And here we go, press the leg back up to where it goes, sort through the air, inhale. Exhale, float it down. Deep breath in and out. Left leg's turn, float it up, stretch it up. Inhale it higher. And then exhale, bring the knee into the nose, step the foot outside of that left hand, set it down, bend your knee, squeeze your right butt down into the floor. Lift left arm up to the sky, twist, inhale. Exhale, float that hand down. Here we go, left leg shoots back up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, float that leg down. Set the knees to the floor. Ah, let's rest. Child's pose. You can either keep your arms outstretched like this or down by your side. Take two deep breaths. Use an inhale to roll up through your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Oof. And then bring your hands out in front, open and close your fists. If this seated position feels terrible, you can always sit up like this. Just make some fireworks, both at the same time. And then alternate. And then up and down. It's okay if they're clicking, <laughs> mine are too. Right and left. All right, and then here we go. Place your palms back onto the floor. We're gonna try to flip our dog. So knees are a little bit farther away from the hips, or no, knees are underneath your hips and then step them back. Toe, tops of the toes are on the floor, tuck them under. Deep breath in. Exhale, here we go. Back to downward dog. Take a deep breath when you get here. All right, first we're gonna stretch our right leg back, straight leg pointed toe. Two hips are in line, squeeze your butt, take a deep breath. 
Now we're gonna stack the hips. So now you can lift the hip. Externally rotating that right leg from the hip and then kick your butt for eight, seven. Looking underneath your right armpit up to the sky. Four, three, two, and then you can either stay here with a bent knee or if you'd like to flip your dog, you're going to reach your right leg down to the floor. Your right arm is going to come off the floor. You're going to stretch ooh, into the wall. Arm up to the sky. Two deep breaths. Squeeze your butt. <laughs> and then twisting yourself, coming back to that place. So right arm comes to the floor. You twist. Reach that right leg back up to the sky. Everyone parallels the leg. Float that leg down. Let's take a child's pose. Drop the knees. Tops of the toes rest. Relax, either arms on in front or arms down by your side. Two deep breaths. All right, and then place your palms back to the place. Take a deep breath in and exhale yourself back to your tabletop position. When you get there, spread your fingers wide. Tops of the toes rest on the floor, tuck them under, deep breath in. Exhale, press yourself strong back into that downward dog and take a deep breath when you get there. Right, it's our left leg's turn. Send it back, straight leg pointed toe to start, belly button pulls deep toward your spine, deep breath in and out. All right, now lift your left hip up externally rotating that leg from your hip and then bend your knee to kick your butt for eight so looking underneath your left armpit this time six five everything strong pushing down into the floor three two and then stay here and breathe or flip your dog reaching that left leg to the floor and stretching your left arm up to the sky Push down into the floor, squeeze your butt, lift yourself higher, take a deep breath. And then re-flipping yourself back to your downward dog, three-legged dog, ah, left leg. Back to that parallel belly button to spine, squeeze your butt, and then float the leg down. And we'll take our rest, child's pose, either with your arms stretched out in front or arms down by your side, your choice. Take a deep breath. With your palms back onto the floor, use your next exhale to float yourself back to your tabletop position. And then make sure your arms are underneath your shoulders. We're gonna flip the palms upward toward your face with your fingers in toward the midline and your um, wrists out to the thumbs out to the outside. Gentle pressure on the back of your palms. Take a deep breath. And then curl all of your fingers in. Thumbs included. Take a deep breath. And then unroll your fingers. Place them back onto the floor. Ooh, we're out of time. I wanted to do one more, but let's let's just stretch out. Let's flip onto our back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pull your knees into your chest, hug them close. Give yourself a rock, right and left. You can interlace your fingers if that feels good. A little bit of pressure pulling your fingers. And then start to make a circle here with your knees all the way around. And reverse the circles. So many downward dog exercises. And then place one hand on either knee, stir your knees out and around, separate. Breathe. And reverse your circle. And then place your arms out like airplane wings with your palms down. Set your feet down to the floor wider than your mat, keeping your knees bent. And then one at a time, drop the knee toward the midline of your body, right and left. Maybe you squeeze your glutes. Breathe.
I'm coming to a stop here, externally rotating your legs from the hips, soles of the feet come together, knees fall out to the side, relax, let everything go, take two deep breaths. And then if that was enough for you, feel free to let your legs and arms fall wherever they like. Take a relaxation. Or if you're feeling good, you're ready to come up, let's do a giant sit up. Bring your legs together, glue them together, flex your feet, engage your quads, stretch your arms up overhead, fingertips are reaching. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's crunch. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you had a really good stretch. Lots of downward dog stuff we worked on. Um, it was awesome. There's plenty more. <laughs> um, downward dog is a really, really good stretch. I hope everyone had a good time. I hope you feel really good.